What's going on YouTube? This is a long overdue video on Kovalev versus Ward. Who will win? Who do I think and how will the fight go down? I believe that this fight will go the distance, all 12 rounds. How I see it going is Andre Ward is going to come out for the first two to three rounds and pretty much look like he is schooling Sergey. And then come the fourth or fifth round, he's going to get popped. He's going to get popped hard. And when he gets popped hard, he's going to do what all defensive fighters do. He's going to turn into a turtle. And he's going to hide behind his shell. And he's going to become very inactive in his throwing. And he's going to try to dodge Kovalev. He's going to have Kovalev chasing him. And Andre's going to throw a punch here or there. Then he's going to get hit again. Then the shell is even going to get thicker. And that's going to be a rinse and repeat of how I see this fight going down. There is a possibility that Kovalev could catch him and knock him out. There's no way in... God's green earth, Andre Ward will be able to knock Kovalev out because he's a powder puncher. I mean, he, he's not going to hurt him. He's not going to slow him down. He's, I'm, I'm telling y'all, he's going to start off really good. He is going to out-jab Kovalev. He is going to show every chink in the armor Kovalev has in the first couple of rounds. But after the first couple of rounds and he gets hit that first real punch from Kovalev, he is going to get scared and he is going to shell up. And I just, I don't see either guy as a great, great fighter because in Kovalev's division, I still believe, and people can argue with me all day, that Stevenson is, is the real champion. I think Adonis would floor him. I think Adonis would put him out. Now, the problem with Adonis is he is old and he's got a shelf life. And whenever that age catches up, his career is over. But for the moment, I do believe that Stevenson is the best in that division. But that's besides the point. Back to Kovalev and Ward. I see Kovalev not getting frustrated. He is going to have to figure out how to hit him. He got frustrated against um, old man Hopkins. And... You know, he really didn't have that good of a time, but you got to remember that was still early in his career. His last fight, he didn't look so impressive. But with that being said, Ward has not looked that good since he's been back. No, he hasn't. And y'all can say that, oh, he's fought this person, he's fought that. No, really, truthfully, I mean, who would have been the best person he's fought? Sullivan? Barrera? I... I but other than that, like, it's just, I just, I don't, I don't see him looking impressive. He's been fighting, in my opinion, mediocre type opponents. And I just, I don't see it. I, I don't see Ward's resume being that great since he's been back. He did have the two, almost three years layoff. And ever since he came back from that layoff, like a lot of fighters do. They don't look the same, and he hasn't looked the same. And before that, yes, Ward won the Super 6, which was good. But really, think about that, okay? This is his most credible notation of fame, so to say. Every person who was in that are no longer really threats. I mean, he, he, he beat... Um, Abram, he beat, who else was it? It was Abram, Frotch, which Frotch has fallen off. I mean, Frotch has not looked that good. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't see Frotch being that good to me. He just, he don't look that good. He, he don't. I mean, the competition that he's fought lately has is, is not been great. I mean, once again, I know, like, recently he beat Kessler, who Ward beat in the Super 6. <laughs> and then I think he fought Groves. And, I mean, <laughs> you're talking about lack of competition. They're keeping it in that British-European circuit. And, and I just, I don't, I don't really see, even see Frotch being that great. Like... I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. All I'm telling y'all is this fight is going to be a boring fight after the fifth or sixth round. 
because Kovalev is going to hurt him and it's going to make him shell up. And it's going to be like a Mayweather versus Pacquiao, how I called it, except Mayweather ain't going to be throwing back, a.k.a. Ward. He, 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 Ward is very good at his jab and setting up opportunities. But the problem is Ward is also likes the inside fight, and he can't do that against Kovalev because if he gets popped, it's over. So he's got to stay on the outside. And now he's on the outside. So him being on the outside puts him at the end of Kovalev's power, which is where you don't want to be. You don't want to be at the end of the punch, and that's where he's going to have to be. So he's going to be very uncomfortable the whole fight. And I'm telling you, after he gets rocked that first time, I don't really see Ward going down. I don't see Ward getting knocked out. I think he's good enough defensively to survive, but I believe that's all he will do. He will survive. But like I said, look forward to the first couple of rounds, maybe through the third round. That is going to be where Ward's going to shine. That is going to be where he exposes all the chinks that Kovalev does have that people have not been able to expose because he's going to be able to use his speed, his agility, his reaction, his counter. His He's just going to be able to open them up. But once he gets hit, because you got to remember, this is not a Chad Dawson fight. This is not where Kovalev is getting drained of weight and losing weight to fight him. No, Kovalev is weighing his weight. He is going to be at his best against him. And Ward is a smaller man. He, he's just, he's not, he's not going to be able to do it. And, and he's too void of power to, to be able to hurt Kovalev. That, that's the issue. If Ward was more like a Mayweather where he had power to knock people's heads back, then I could see him being successful in this fight. But his punches are too weak and he's too small. And now he's going up against a guy who's naturally bigger weight wise. And they're around the same height. And in fact, let's look this up real fast. Let's let's look up the tell of the tape. Let's see, Andre Ward, arm length. Mm. Let's see if I can find it. Sergey Kovalov, arm length. Let's see what the reach is on him real fast. This will be a good... I'm trying to look for y'all real fast. I should have looked this up, but I didn't. But I know they're around the same height. So I'm not seeing anything on the internet about arm length. Oh well. So anyways, once again, coming back full circle, not to keep repeating myself like I have been. Kovalev's gonna win. I believe Kovalev has had harder competition, whether it be fighting somebody like Pascal Hopkins, I mean, I just, I don't, I just, I can't, I can't see it. I can't see Andre winning, and I would love Andre Ward to win because he is American. I would love an American to beat a Russian, but I just, I, I don't see it. I just think he's too void of power. He, he's too, too weak, and he's going to get exposed for being too weak. But that's my two cents. I see it going 12-round decision. Um, Kovalev winning by points. Thank you all for watching the video. And let me know what you think. If you disagree, let me know how you disagree. If you agree, let me know how you agree. Hopefully, we'll get a good fight and I'll be wrong.